Hello. This video is all about coming back to school in September. We are really looking forward to seeing you all back in school. Normally, we have an afternoon where you can go to your new classroom and meet your new teacher. And you can find out all about what September's going to be like. But this year we haven't been able to do that. So we thought we would make a video instead. So, here are some photographs of what it will be like when you come back to school in September. This is the top gate. This is where you'll come in in the morning. Everybody will come through that gate and they'll follow the white arrows around to the doors. Year one and year two will walk round the side of the building, following the white arrows and down through these white doors. When you get to the corridor, this is where year one will say goodbye to their mummies and daddies. And there's a sink, a special sink for you to wash your hands to keep you healthy. Then you'll go into your classroom where your teachers, Mrs. Brooke or Mrs. Chopra Morris will be waiting to say hello to you. Miss Wakeling will be there and Miss Walsh. There are your desks where you'll do your learning and you'll have your own pack of pencils to use in your lessons. Some of your lessons will be outside. There's lots of toys for you to play with and your teachers may help you to help, may need you to help with the watering, looking after all the plants in your playground. Now let's go back to the way in and here year two will keep following the white arrows all the way through that door and out into the big playground. When you get into the big playground, you'll need to follow the arrows right across the playground all the way to the corner gate. Here it is. Now that's the gate where you'll say goodbye to your mummies and daddies. You'll go through the gate, up the path and into your classroom. And there's your classroom door. That's the year two classroom door. Miss Barr will be waiting for you with Mrs Dunleavy and Mrs Kappa. When you get inside, the first thing you'll do is wash your hands. And there's the year two sink. Every time you go outside, you'll need to wash your hands when you come back in. Here's your classroom. All your desks are ready for you. That's where you'll do your learning. Now, you do have a toilet in your classroom, but when you're outside at play, these are the toilets you'll use. There's one for year one and one for year two. No one else is allowed to use them. Let's go back to key stage two. So year three and four and five and six, you'll come in through the top gate, follow the white arrows. Year three and year five, this is your door. You'll come in that door in the morning and you'll go home that door in the afternoon. Round the corner, year four and year six, this is your door. And again, you're, that's the way you're going in the morning and that's the way you'll come out at the end of school. Soon as you get inside the door, you will wash your hands. There's one of the, our special sinks at every door and you'll wash your hands regularly through the day. There's the year three classroom and further along the corridor is the year four classroom where your teachers will be waiting to welcome you. Now just round the corner there are your cloakrooms, there they are, but at the moment we won't be using your cloakrooms. You'll keep your coats on the back of your chair. Here's the toilet for the year three class to use. No one else will be allowed to use that toilet, just year three. And here's the toilet for the year four classroom to use. Again, no one else will be allowed in there. It's just for year four. And here's the year five classroom. Mr. Ledger will be in there with Mrs. Devaney waiting to welcome you. And this is the toilet that year five will be using. Again, nobody else will be allowed in that toilet. It's just for the year five class. And here we have year six where Miss Kale Mrs. Kalik and Mrs. Devaney will be waiting ready to welcome you. Now year six have their own toilet 
and it's this one down by the staff room, a bit of a walk away. Again, you're the only ones allowed to use that toilet. You'll see that we have some arrows painted on the floor. That's because we have a one-way system and that's to stop parents from having to get too close to each other. We have a lot of signs up reminding parents to stay two metres apart wherever they can. And to help you and your parents to keep a distance, you can arrive at school any time between 8.45 and 9.15 and you go straight to your classroom. At home time, your parents can arrive any time between 2.45 and 3.15. And as soon as we see your parents, we will send you out to meet them and you can go straight home. Some other things will be different in September too. Each class will be staying together all the time in a bubble. Being in a bubble will be a bit like being with your family during the lockdown time. You can be together with your classmates but you can't mix with children from other classes. That's why we're not using the cloakrooms, so you don't have to go out of class. You'll keep your coat on the back of your chair, nice and handy. In your tray, you will all have your own pencils and pens and crayons and rulers, so you don't need to share them with other children. Make sure you look after them though, and your class will have their own playtime, just for your class, nobody else. You'll have a box of play equipment that's just for your class. Now we won't be able to sell milk or toast like we used to at playtime. So instead, we will bring your toast to your classroom every morning and milk if you want it. At lunchtime, you will have dinner in the dining hall with a big gap to keep you away from the other classes. We won't be going in the hall for assembly, but instead we will have assembly on your computer screens in your classroom. You'll be able to wave to all the people in the other classrooms. We know that it's been a bit tricky for you at home these last months. So in September, we'll be doing a lot more PE. We don't want you to have to keep getting changed. So instead of wearing uniform, you can wear your t-shirts, jogging bottoms and trainers to school. Just put your school sweatshirt or another jumper on top. We want you to wash your clothes more often than usual, so this will make it easier. Now, what about books? Well, you will have a library book and a reading book to keep in your desk at school. And that is for reading on your own or reading with your teachers. You will have a book to take home as well. And we want your parents to keep signing your reading diaries in your new planners every day. But you'll keep your planners at home and you will just bring your books back for changing once a week. Don't worry, your teacher will tell you which day and remind you. We're also having a new way of recording your golden stamps. So it won't matter that your planner is at home. So what should you bring to school with you? Pretty much nothing. No PE kits, no pencil cases, no bags. The only thing you'll need is your book for changing once a week. Those of you who have a packed lunch for dinner, you will need to bring your packed lunch in a small box or a small bag. It needs to be small enough to keep on your desk. Wow, that's lots of changes. But don't worry, if you forget anything, there will be lots of people to remind you. 
Speaking of other people, I know you can't wait to see who your teachers are going to be. Well, I'm going to hand you over now to a short message from your new teacher and I'll say goodbye. Looking forward to seeing you in September. Have a wonderful holiday and don't forget to look after your parents at home. Bye bye. Hello, I'm Miss Khan, and of course you know me, Miss Drungle, and we are going to be your teachers in year four. Next year, I'm so excited about teaching you, we are going to have a fantastic year. We're going to do all the fun things and all the art things and all the exciting things and maybe even get outside and do some gardening. Looking forward to that, Miss Strongle. Indeed, Miss Khan, I am. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'd like you to do in the summer holidays for me is my favourite thing. Do a show me what you know about your families. You know I'm a very nosy person, so I really want you to work hard on that. And when you come back into school, I want to know all about you. And as I've said, I'm a nosy person, but that... You can be nosy too and find out about all my family too. Absolutely. It's about I know about history. most of mine, Miss Khan. So That's good. But there's always new things to that learn. That will be a learning thing for us. So have a great holiday and we look forward to having you back in September. Keep safe and be good. Bye.